Hey everyone, so before the video starts, I just want to say that this video was actually filmed way back on May 7th, so it has been almost three months since I filmed it. Um, the reason for that is because um, I've honestly been in kind of a slump and I haven't really felt like editing or filming or uploading or any of that kind of stuff, but I think I'm finally past that. So I'm finally going to be able to upload more. I also just recently got a new laptop, so I will be able to put videos out more frequently. So without further ado, here's a video. Hey everyone, so today I am really excited because um, later on in the day, I am going to be picking up another hamster. So I was on Craigslist just looking at the hamsters in my area and I found one that was up for adoption. He is one year old and his name is Rex. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna change his name yet. I don't think I am. So I'm not getting him until later on in the day. So I still have time to set up his enclosure. All right, so the background is a mess because I'm getting all the supplies ready for his enclosure. But I have this big tank. I'm pretty sure it is a 55 gallon tank. I measured it and it is a, the dimensions are about 48.5 and 12.5. Um, so I am pretty sure it is a 55 gallon tall. I was looking all over the internet trying to find a screen top that will fit this, but I can't find any that will fit these dimensions, so I'm going to have to keep looking. I don't know why, but it is really difficult for me to get a good angle to show you me setting this up. So I still have a few things that are being sanitized right now. I have some sand that's baking in the oven right now. And I also have a bunch of wood accessories that are laid out on trays right now that I'm going to put in the oven after the sand is done. But I am just going to start on the bedding, put some bedding in, and then we'll just go from there. So I have a bit of this All Living Things brown paper bedding, so I'm just going to put this in here. So to be honest, I'm not really a fan of this bedding because it is pretty dusty, but I did have some leftover in the bag, so I figured I would just go ahead and use it up. And I am also going to be mixing in some of this eco bedding. I really like eco bedding because it is not dusty at all and it is made from 100% recycled paper. And you can see when I'm mixing this all together that there is a ton of dust flying up in the air. So like I said, I really wouldn't recommend that all living things bedding. And I am also going to be mixing in some aspen shavings because it just adds some extra texture and it helps stabilize the burrows a little bit. And I am also going to be adding in some orchard grass hay. Orchard grass hay really helps stabilize the burrows and add some extra texture. It provides some natural colors and it provides more nesting material for your hamster. All right, so the sand is out of the oven now. And what I'm going to do is just start sifting the sand and I am going to put it in this section right here. Okay, I keep trying to get a good angle, but I can't find a good one. And I'm setting everything up on the ground because it's too heavy for me to lift on my own. So I'm just setting it up right here for now. But um, I put the sand over here. I also put the wheel in on that side and I put in a few more accessories. Now I'm going to sprinkle in some of this woodland salad mix. Um, there is just palm leaf, nettle leaf, birch leaf, and dried apple. So I'm going to sprinkle some of this around. I'm also going to sprinkle some of this hay and herb forage mix in here. I'm going to sprinkle in some of these rose flowers. I'm going to put in a few of these carrot and elderberry trees treats. Or not a few, I'm just going to put one in here. I'm also going to put some oat sprays, wheat sprays, and millet sprays in here. So 
I'm definitely going to make some changes to it. This is just a starter because I'm bringing him home today. So I just kind of threw something together. Um, so I'm going to make another video most likely of me just changing up the enclosure and just doing some more fun things to it, making it look a little better. So I have this um, cardboard hide tunnel type thing, this bundle of willow sticks, some oat sprays, millet sprays, just a bunch of wood accessories, this loofah chew, um, this elderberry tree treat, uh, cardboard tunnel, oat sprays, wheat sprays, some chews. And then over here we have the sand bath. I have a bendy bridge going down, a couple wood accessories, the sand, and of course the wheel. Like I said, I sprinkled in a bunch of herbs and flowers and all that. So this is what we're working with. Hey everyone, so I just picked up my new hamster. He is so cute. He is actually a robo. Um, on the pictures I looked at, I thought he was um, a hybrid dwarf, but he is a robo. Um, and he is so tiny and so cute, so I'm going to show him to you. Look at him. <gasps> He's so cute. Oh, I love him. So it's been a couple days now since I've adopted him, and he has settled in pretty nicely. Um, he's just eating some dinner right now. <laughs> he's seriously the cutest thing ever. I love him. Um, the last time I told you, showed you this section the cardboard was actually pretty high up but i cut it down so it wasn't so steep and um he loves his sand bath he i feel like most of the time when i see him he's over here either rolling in sand or running on his wheel and um there he is just grooming he's so cute I'm going to need to sift his sand because he does use it as a litter box, which is great. Um, okay, so the benefit of waiting three months to upload a video is that I can give you an update on how my new hamster has reacted to his new environment. So he is super energetic, which is no surprise because he is a robo. Uh, he's constantly running. He's constantly digging around, um, playing in the sand, rolling around in the sand. He loves the sand so much, as I said, way back in May, um, and he loves to forage for his food. As soon as I put the food in there, he just he just starts running around looking for it. He stuffs it all in his cheeks and goes and takes it in his burrow right away. Like he doesn't he doesn't wait. I put in one to two tablespoons and it's gone in like five minutes. So yeah, he definitely definitely loves his new enclosure. Um, um I'll put a picture of the enclosure that he was in before I adopted him. So yeah, uh, he definitely has a lot more room to run around and just, you know, be a hamster. Just be a little hamster. He's so adorable. He's like the size of a little marshmallow. I love him so much. And his name. Okay, so I really wanted to name him Button because first of all, he's just a little button. He's, he's a little button, he's so cute. Also, my other Syrian hamster, his name is YB, and his his name comes from the movie Coraline, and in Coraline, they wear buttons on their eyes, and so to keep it Coraline-themed, it could be YB and Button. And although I did end up naming him Button, most of the time I call him BRB because I was, because it's a combination of the three names Buster, Rex, and Button. So Buster, that was one of the names I was considering Rex is the name he came with and Button is the name I did, did end up giving him. So, so although his name is Button, I do call him BRB most of the time. Um, he really doesn't mind being, a, he, do, he really doesn't mind when I'm around him. He doesn't mind when I put my hand in the enclosure to give him food or just all, just that kind of stuff. Um, 
he's not too scared of that. He definitely doesn't let me touch him, pet him, pick him up, or any of that, which is not surprising because he's a robo and most robos aren't really social with humans. Um, there are a few exceptions, but most of them are not. So yeah, I will most likely be uploading more videos of Button in his enclosure. Um, Halloween is coming up soon, so I'm definitely going to give him a Halloween-themed enclosure, so stay tuned for that. I'm also going to be giving YB a Halloween enclosure, of course. So yeah, that's it for the video, and thank you all so much for watching. Bye!